Welcome back to the show. I'm your host, Christopher Roberts. Joining me now, he is from Weston, Florida. He is uh, one of the partners at Oppenheim Law. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Roy Oppenheim to the program. Roy, welcome. How are you today? I am great. I want to thank you so much for uh, giving me the opportunity to spend some time with you today. Oh, absolutely. Thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to join us. We appreciate it. And uh, why don't you start us off, tell us a little bit about uh, who you are and what you do. Well, while I am from western Florida now, I'm actually from Bronx, New York, and so uh, you know, we're very sympathetic to uh, all the folks uh, up in New York, what they've been going through. Uh, and, uh, you know, I know the city and I know the New Yorkers are very strong folks, and uh, we all pull through together, and uh, the city will be stronger and better when, when this is all done. And I know that in my heart, so we, uh, we just wish everyone all, all the best. Uh, what was your question? Um, a little bit about who you are and what you do. Oh, okay, great. So I'm, I'm originally from New York and uh, became a Wall Street lawyer, as, as did uh, my wife, Alan, Alan Pawlowski, and then we relocated to Florida in 1987. And so we like to say that we're really uh, uh, trained in Wall Street, but, but uh, uh, now uh, sort of Main Street. And that's what we've been doing really for the past 30 years. And uh, during the last economic crisis, we represented thousands, thousands of, of homeowners who were in foreclosure or over over their, their eyeballs in debt. And, you know, when, when the banks played their little tricks on everyone, uh, we helped uh, basically turn the tables on the banks and, and were able to defend homeowners very successfully and keeping them in their homes in many cases, having uh, uh, foreclosures dismissed and earning attorney fees from the banks uh, for them not performing their task properly through the foreclosure process. And uh, we basically are now, again, hope representing... Uh, landlord tenants and, and against landlords and representing homeowners who are having to deal with, with their lenders and then also representing small businesses that they try and navigate through this, this, this COVID uh, pandemic crisis. All righty. Now, uh, what got you uh, started in the law industry in the first place? What uh, what sent you down that road? Well, I think it was probably Perry Mason. I like Perry Mason. All righty, and uh, what kind of background uh, does somebody need, uh, you know, to be able to get to where you are? What, what kind of education? Well, you have to go four years to college, and then you need uh, three years of law school, and then you probably need to work with some lawyers that, that can train you properly so that you can then uh, basically develop uh, on your own or, or in a firm and, and work uh, in a collaborative environment. All righty. Now, um, when uh, somebody does reach out to you uh, in general, what uh, what do you see the most of uh you know, uh, outside of the whole uh, uh, COVID pandemic, what what do you think is the most dominant thing well, uh, in general? I, I, th- I think, in terms of us, most people are really contacting us a lot about real estate issues, whether it's typically they have to do with you know, buying or selling, or they're in a dispute with with uh, someone in a, in a real estate transaction. Also, we, we represent a lot of commercial developers, so we're very much involved with with, with their projects and, and their acquisitions and possible litigation and. And other issues that, that evolve around development in general, uh, and so we're, we're very much involved. And people frequently will, will call us about some mass torts, uh, things that, that involve either a Johnson Johnson baby powder or things that, that may involve uh, 3M uh, hearing aids. I mean, earplugs that, that were used by uh, by the military that didn't perform uh, the way they were supposed to. Um, so there, there are a lot of times that people will contact us because they. They hear about these these mass torts uh, on TV or elsewhere. and want to know if they if they can receive compensation. A roundup is another one that, that comes to mind. And so we, we represent at any time, you know, probably a hundred folks that in, in, in that area and work with some of the largest firms in, in the country in, in making sure that large companies are held accountable for their for their conduct. All righty. Now, uh, why do you think uh, you know your clients choose you guys over somebody else out there? What sets you apart from others? You know, that's a very good question. But, but at the end of the day, I think people have to feel comfortable with their lawyers. They have to have a rapport with them. They have to feel like their lawyers really understand what, what they do. And many lawyers today, you know, are highly, highly specialized in a particular field. But a lot of times, when someone has a problem, they're really not sure. You know, do they need a bankruptcy lawyer? Do they need a litigator? Do they need a commercial lawyer? Do they need a real estate lawyer? Sometimes their, their problems are multifaceted and, and complicated. So we kind of like the complicated stuff where we have to figure out how to uh, take apart the issue and reconstruct it. And so I think that's why people like our firm, because we can kind of think out of the box and, and, and it bring a lot of a lot of different clarity to, to legal issues and you know, approach it just from it with one angle. All righty. Now, uh, where do you think you see yourself moving forward? What's going to be on tap for you in the future? 
you know, the world is changing so quickly, so I think we, we're just going to continue to change along with, with that world. And I think we're, you know, one of the things we do, and maybe your audience would like to, to participate, is we, we have a seminar, a webinar every Tuesday called Zoom at Noon, and you can just, just Google at Zoom at Noon with Roy Hoppetime. And uh, we have a few hundred people that, that join us every week, and we talk about different legal issues and how they're evolving as it relates to what's going on in, in, in society. We started with, with, obviously, the COVID issue, but now it's become an economic issue, social political issues, and there are just numerous, numerous legal issues that are going to affect all of us long term as, as we see this new normal evolving and history kind of unfolding as, as we become part of that, that story. All righty. And now are you seeing uh, clients at all in person yet, or are you still uh, doing uh, Zoom and, uh, you know, things like that? Well, we... We, we kind of take our lead from the courthouse, and the courthouse is only uh, is, is, co- is closed. Uh, the courts are open, but the courthouse is closed, meaning that, that all hearings are being done uh, via virtual uh, telephone or by Zoom or something like that. And so to the extent that, uh, that judges and, and the courthouse is, is not open, we are, we are kind of taking our cue from, from that. And so uh, it's on a rare occasion that we're going to meet a client personally right now. We want to respect people's uh, social distance and, and make sure that we're we don't become part of the problem, but, but or part of the, the solution to, to this crisis. All righty. And um, how can my audience reach out and contact you to find out more information? Uh, you can go to our website, www.oppenheimlaw.com, or you can go to our title company, www.westentitle.com, or you can call our office anytime, 954-384-6114, or you can reach me by email, Roy at op. Law.net. That's ROI at letter O P L A W dot net. And uh, that's generally how, how people get a hold of me. All righty. Well, it's been a pleasure having you on the show today. Thank you so much. You are very, very welcome. Thanks for the opportunity. You're quite welcome. And uh, for everyone else out there, do stick around. We will be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is, the most listened to radio show on the planet. Even the other stations are tuned in too. You're listening to Business Talk Radio, where we take business to the next level. They'll challenge your authority. They'll try to break your will. They'll push you to the edge of your sanity. Because that's what kids do. But this car is your territory, not theirs. Defend it. Who makes the payments? Who cleans it? Who drives it? You do. That's who. And in here, your word is law. So when you say you won't move until everyone's buckled up, you won't budge an inch until you hear that click. Never give up until they buckle up. A message from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. For more information, visit safercar.gov slash kidsbuckleup.